What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. I was looking at the 154 pound division uh, last night, and then I was thinking about, uh, you know, when they they said Fondura was gonna be suspended for six months. I think they gonna, I think Zoo gonna probably have to sit out and and really deal with that cut in the top of his head too, uh, from that from that that elbow that he got from Fondura. But in my opinion, uh, it, it's really not it's not that big of an issue. Uh, I think Jamel Charlo got. If I'm not mistaken, two belts still in the division, and Fondora has the other two. But the biggest two names at 154, the two big draws, are Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, and neither one of them got a title at in a, at in the 154 pound division, which, in my opinion, uh, makes it where it's not really going to matter all that much as far as the quality of of the fights that we probably gonna be getting in the, in the near future in this division. Uh, uh, Spence or, or Terrence Crawford, if they choose to not wait for however long it's gonna take for uh, Fondora and Zoo to get back in, whoever Earl fight at 154 is gonna be a big fight. Whoever Crawford fight at 154 is gonna be a big fight. Now, I think I think Earl, he in in the situation that he find himself in, you know, just look like he gonna switch trainers. That's how it's looking from uh, from the outside, and uh, just having a cataract surgery. There ain't no, it wouldn't be smart for him to go right into a fight with Terrence Crawford right now. It wouldn't make sense, uh, especially with the trainer situation and the fact that. When Crawford said he wanted to do the rematch at 147 pounds, uh, that ain't gonna work for Spence at this point. So, like I said, I uh, I've said it several times. Uh, Earl can go in there and have a fight with Erickson Lubin, and that'll be that'll be bigger than any title fight that they can have in that division. Terence Crawford could pick uh, whoever, you know, uh, and it'll be just as big as a Fondora Zoo fight. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, one of the title fights. Even if it was, even if it was Charlo, uh, just keeping it, keeping it real. Uh, I'm not saying I know which one I'm sell more, Bud or Crawford. I'm gonna say a Bud or a Mel, but I think Bud at this point now is just as popular as Mel, if not more popular. Uh, you know, and Earl Spence is the, is the most recognizable name. <laughs> Bud and, uh, and Earl are the two most recognizable names, and I think the biggest draws in that division without having a title. So, the 154 pound division is is gonna be just fine, even if we can't have, even if we don't get a title fight for another six months uh, to a year, as long as Earl fighting, uh, Crawford fighting, is you know, uh, they still gonna be big fights. Neither one of them gonna fight a garbage fighter, you know. Uh, even even if even what what we would call a tune up for Earl would basically be damn near a title fight, and the same thing for Crawford because the skill level that they own, a high B level fighter, uh, if it ain't one of them against them, gonna lose more likely, you know. Uh, I still don't think Earl Spence. Is going to be any different than he was in the 147 pound division. I really don't. I think he's going to be a lot better when he get back up to 154 uh, because he'll be able to eat more. You know, he won't have to suck suck down quite so much to, to make weight. And, you know, I think that's going to make for a better fighter all the way around. I think his, I think his speed will be a uh, pick back up. I think, he, I think his pace will you know still had that same pace and the same for Crawford. Crawford looked real strong in that last fight with Earl Spence. He would only be stronger, I think, at one fifty four. Uh I've watched everybody hit pretty much in hundred and fifty four pound division. I don't think I haven't I can't I don't think I can recall besides Fondora anybody else up there with a uh seventy four inch arm reach. So Crawford still gonna have the reach advantage he done had in pretty much every fight that I've seen him in. Uh unless Post All didn't have it. Uh he's still gonna have the reach, he's still gonna have speed, and he probably 
a better all-around boxer than probably everybody in that division. You know, uh, <clears throat> so, you know, I've, I've had people give me comments saying, well, Crawford done at 154. Shit, it don't make no difference. Uh, he did it. What he did at 147 and 140 and 135 let you know. And what he did to Earl let you know what it's going to be like at 154. Uh, just keeping it real. Uh, I was, hey, I was for, for Earl in the fight against Crawford too. And that Earl still my guy. But I can't sit out here and do what some of these dudes be doing in the comments. It, you know, they, and they, they got to be in their personal feelings when they, when they be acting like Crawford ain't the real deal. I mean, you know, uh, he knocked out Sean Porter. He knocked out Kale Brook. He knocked out Earl Spence Jr. He he, he knocked out him. Well, I America, but he knocked out Amir Khan. Uh, he I mean, and I'm just speaking on these dudes because they welterweights. He knocked out Jeff Horn. He knocked out uh, me Machine. I mean, everybody everybody that just lose, they got knocked out. And you got to look. He coming up from 135 pounds. And he done knocked out everybody in that division that he done fought. And the man, you got to give credit what credit do. And uh, not take the shit personal. Crawford's just a bad boy. It's a point, point blank period. It just ain't no way around. It is what it is. And so is Earl Spence. I said to the cows, come home. I don't think that was the best Earl Spence the night that he fought Crawford. That's not saying that he would have beat Crawford now. I'm just saying that I don't think he was at his best. Now, I'm not sitting up and saying if he was, he win the fight. I can't sit up and say that. But from what I saw, I didn't see him at his best. And I don't think Derrick James prepared at his best for that fight. I think he might have meant to. But I think he was biting off more than he could chew. I think he was being slightly arrogant, trying to train all those fighters by himself the way he was doing it for all them big fights. And I just don't think it's a coincidence that Frank Martin, Jamel Charlo, and Earl Spence had the, all three of them had the worst fights I've seen them have in their professional careers. How in the hell can that be a coincidence when it's, it, and it, when at the same time this it, this was uh, Derrick James, highest workload that we had ever seen him have since he'd been uh, training in boxing. You know, you know, why can't nobody just keep it a buck like that? You know, uh, you know, and once again, that ain't saying that Spence would have won. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm, I'm saying if I think if Earl Trainer would have had his under his undivided attention on Spence and Crawford fighting and did more homework a couple of years earlier, like Bo Mack and them did. I think it would have been a much more competitive fight. I think it was a lot of arrogance going into that fight on on, on Earl Spence side, and uh, and some and some, uh, and some and some lessons being taught to to them from the Crawford camp. Bo Mack and uh, Terrence Crawford prepared for uh, Earl Spence in a manner that you prepare for the biggest fight of your career. You don't you don't treat it like just another walk in the park. And they didn't. You know, uh, I remember in a, in a final press conference, Crawford's demeanor up there on that stage. I I saw Pitbull sitting up there. Uh, and like I said, after I saw the media workout, I, my feet, they got cold, to be honest with you, at that point, because Earl looked so sloppy in the media workout. It's bad when a fighter got a call to train her from a damn YouTube interview and his media workout there and a fighter the one standing in the ring. You know, it just the writing was really on the wall. You know, uh but sometimes you can get too caught up into the hype. I I I, I would definitely say I did and, and let and let my emotions get get in the way of my good sense. You know, honestly, uh and with the time that Earl has spent out the ring, looking at how he looked in his media workout <clears throat> and some of the, the some of some of the stuff Derrick James was doing in the press conferences, you know, taking shots at Bo Mack Wait and stuff like that, you know, uh and I and I never seen Derrick James act like that and, you know, uh being borderline uh cocky and uh that 
just wasn't him. The him that he had shown up to that point, and, uh, and you, get, you know, the writing was on the wall. You know, and, uh, I, 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 I think Earl need a couple of fights before he get back in there with Bud. And maybe they will have a rematch. Maybe they won't. Just never know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I think if Earl go out there and have two fights and look real good in both of them, which I'm assuming he will, that'll be enough. To, to build it up and have it bigger than the first one, see, because you don't want the rematch to be, to, uh, to, to you don't want to make less money on the rematch than you did on the first match. If, we, if, they, if they went right into it now, that's probably what happened, what would happen. But uh, two fights from now, get that momentum going back on, on our own spin side, then we can then we can get him back in the ring and it could be a big fight and Crawford would get the lion's share this time. The fight will be at one fifty four. Whether it's for a title or not, that's the biggest fight in boxing again in, in two, two fights from now. Earl go out here and, 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 and be Earl and for for two fights. Boom, we got we got we got another big one. And so I think that's the direction it's gonna go in. So what fun do or do or don't do it, those belts don't really matter to me. If he fight, he fight. If he don't, he don't. Uh, I just think Earl need to get back in the ring as soon as he can with a new trainer and healthy and get get back active. You know, uh, I would like to see him have two fights in one year. And then I think it, I would have to, if he can get two fights in, then I don't give a damn if it's this year or next year. He need to get two fights in and within one year, no more than 14 months. And then I think he'll be ready to go in there and bump. But this fight once a year, you ain't going to get ready like that. You know, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully the fans will realize whether Fondora and Zoo fight or not, that the two big names is Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. And as long as they fight any of them other dudes in the division, hey, them fights gonna be big their fights will be bigger than if the champions in the divisions was having the fights. But uh or unless it was against them, one of those two guys. But uh that's it for me on this video. If you like the video or to like or subscribe. Till next time it's your boy Spill Dog, I'm out.